Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it's so good, Lord, to wait before you, to listen for your voice, to read your word and to expect you to talk to us. We pray that you do that now and that we listen. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. He who sows sparingly shall also reap sparingly. And he who sows bountifully shall also reap bountifully. What do you think? It's like if you're mean, you get nothing. <laughs> if you're generous, you get everything. How does that, how does that hit you, Val? Well, it makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? I seem to remember scripture saying that in the same measure that you give, yes. it will be given back to you. That's right. Yes. Yes. And of course, you could turn it around as well and saying in the measure that you've received, you learn to give. You know, you've received grace right. and love from God and it enables you to live in a certain way. Yeah. Yes. Like Mary Magdalene loved a lot that's she, right she'd been forgiven yeah much. those who've been forgiven much love much yes, yes. Lovely. yes so it's like a kind of character of lifestyle dependent on how you understand the way that god has dealt with you grace received equals grace lived yeah yes lovely do you know what comes to mind is do you remember that day when we took a pair of scissors and cut up the credit cards and said never again. <laughs> we, yes. I mean, it took a long time to get free of that, didn't it? Yes, but praise God, it's wonderful. Yes. Not to be in debt, isn't it? But in the same way, it's like, yes, of course, that, that's it. That's it. When you're living, I'm just using this as a metaphor, really. You know, it's different for everybody. They make their own choices about how to mm. deal with things. But like using it like a metaphor for things that control you, things that inhibit you from living generously and almost like a fear of the future. You know, we just it took years, didn't it? Never really getting free. And then all of a sudden that day when we took those scissors, you know, mm. we're we're done. We're done with debt. Never yes. again. Yeah. Yes. And of course, the story that Jesus told in the Bible about this guy who was released from an incredible debt, you know, not just a few mm. grand, but millions and millions. And then the king, the king released him from the debt, but then expected him to live in the light of that freedom. Mm. I think that's what we're called into, isn't it? Yes. But for us, even when we were in debt it was like we had to get free of that kind of thinking before we got out of debt very good very good yes that's right there's it's not just a lifestyle it's a mental mm. slavery mental condition isn't it yeah. yes that's right but in the story the man was punished for his inconsistency you know he'd been released from a debt so he had to release other people from their debt Yes. So the grace that he'd received from his king had to be transferred onto the way that he dealt with other people. And that's a challenge. Yes, we have to keep reminding ourselves, don't we? With the Our Father, for example, sure. forgive us our trespasses. Sure. As yes. we forgive those who've trespassed against us. That's right. And even sometimes maybe they haven't, but we perceive it. Yes, yes. Our, our mind is so quick to be negative. Yes, it so, is. Yes, yes. To have to pray by the grace of God to think loving and positive thoughts. And it's just such a wonderful change, a bit like being out of debt when yeah. your thoughts become more positive you and sure? you're able to think well of people and yes. bless them. I remember counting the change from somebody in a shop with eyes that were all squinting with distrust. Have they paid me back every penny? <laughs> I mean, thinking, what on earth am I worrying about? <laughs> Why does this matter so much? It's, but I want to focus on that word uh, bountifully, bountifully, right, because yes. I believe that God wants us to live bountifully. To, to, uh, we have a debt of love. Paul said, didn't he? We have a debt of love. Oh, no man, anything except the debt to of love. 
Yes. And that we've received love from God. And that is the debt that I owe everybody yes. that, that, that I meet. I'm to, I'm to treat them tenderly and sensitively and bountifully, bountifully. Yes. But we can't fool ourselves into having any other standard but love. Sure. When you think about 1 Corinthians 13, it's yes. amazing some of the things in yes. that list. So none of this matters. Yeah, though yeah. I speak with tongues, though I, though I'm you know, all this wisdom, Burnt all this knowledge for my faith. Yes, yeah, martyrdom. None of it matters if I'm. Yeah, you can do all kinds of incredible things unlovingly. But if you do, you're just a noisy gong. Yes. If you haven't got love, you've got nothing. It says in one version, you're just a squeaky gate. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So let's enjoy that word bountifully. It, it just suggests living open handedly and giving to others the way that God has given towards us. And, Wonderful. and also sowing bountifully. If I was a multimillionaire then I need not worry about how much money I give away. You know, if I could just be chucking it around, right? But in one sense, I am a multimillionaire. I'm a multimillionaire with my love. I can mm. live bountifully yes. with my love Wonderful. and tenderness towards other people. I can give it away. I can give my laughter to mean people who are sulking. I can... <laughs> <laughs> Nothing irritates them more. <laughs> oh. Yes, of course, there's that scripture, isn't there? Putting burning coals on their head. I'm not sure that's the right It's motive. not really, no, no. <laughs> Why don't you pray for us, honey? Yes. Oh, dear Lord, when we start looking at our motives, my goodness. Sure. We just come to you and we just thank you for your grace and your mercy and your forgiveness. Yes. So right. much that you've poured out on us. You've been bountiful in your love and in the way that you've treated us. And we want to be like that with our every thought about other people. We do. With our every word and with our every action. Mm. We want to be loving and giving and not, like Ken said, squinty-eyed and <laughs> suspicious. Lord, save us, we pray. In Jesus' you've name. You've given us so much. Oh, God. We pray your blessing yes, on our Lord. friends too. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen.